Hello everyone, it's Benny, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the 3D game engine that I'm using for example in series like the 3D rendering series, or the 3D physics series, or all that such. So, if you want to download that engine, there's two versions of the engine you might want to download. There's the finished version, the one with all the fancy features from all of those series, that's in 3D Engine CPP. Or you might want to download the starter version, the one you're going to use if you want to follow along with any of those videos. And that's 3D Game Engine CPP underscore 60. I'm going to leave a link to both of these repositories in the description, but for example, I'm going to use the starter project. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It looks like just about any other GitHub repository. It also has a nice list of build instructions if you prefer text for this, but I'm going to show you how to do it in video, and I'm also going to talk about some of the issues and challenges you may encounter while building, and how to overcome them. So, if you want to actually download this, you have two options. You can click download and zip right here, and that will go ahead and give you a, well, a zip file containing the folder, and you can extract it like any other zip file. Or, if you have git installed, you can clone it using this link right here. Just copy it and clone it with that link, and there you go. Either way, doesn't matter which, but yeah. So that'll download whichever version you want, and I'm going to let that download off-screen and be right back to show you how you would build the project on Windows. Once you have all the files downloaded and extracted, you should have a folder which looks something like this inside it. If you're building on Windows, there's only one file you need to care about in here, and that's the 3 dengineCPP.sln. Now you should be able to open this with Visual Studio 2012 or newer, and then just hit F7 to build. Now you do need Visual Studio 2012 or newer. 2010 or before probably isn't, no, it isn't going to work. So yeah, once you got everything built, just hit Control F5, and boom, it should run. But there is the off chance that building fails for some reason. So if building didn't work, Here's the first thing you should try. Go into the solution file, this will drop down here, and under header files, select everything, and then just remove. So there. Same thing for source files. Select everything with just select the first one, shift click, and hit delete, and then remove. Make sure you're not deleting, just remove it. And that'll remove everything from the project. Then click on the top thing right here the project, then right-click, and add existing items. See the, and then, oh, and make sure you're in the 3D Engine CPP folder, then hit Control A to select everything, and just Control-click and deselect, like, the folders and these things, basically everything that doesn't, ha that doesn't have a CPP H or C extension, so yeah. There should be, ah, this is a sneaky one, don't deselect the make file, you don't want that, and there. That'll just select everything, just hit add, and there. So this will re-add all the files to the project, Ch because chances are if it's not building, I've there's just some file that's either not in the project or a non-existent file in the project. So yeah, do that, hit F7 to rebuild, and then everything should work. Yeah, and you can control F5 to run. Now if it still doesn't work, even after that, here's what you want to try. Right-click on the project, go to Properties, and under Configurations, this is important, make sure you select All Configurations. Then under the Linker drop-down, select the Input. There should be additional dependencies here. Hit the drop-down, and hit Edit, and it should give you a list of all the lib files it's linking to. After that, 3D Engine, wait, yeah, go, sorry, went too fast, go to the folder you downloaded, go to 3D Engine CPP, and go to the lib folder. Now, if there is something in this folder, the lib folder, that isn't being linked to in the additional dependencies, make sure that you, well, go in here and type it in. Like, say, for example, for instance, let's say it didn't have asimp or something, just hit enter, type in asimp.lib, and there you go. And then once you hit OK, that should build. If it still doesn't build and it's complaining about some issue of, oh, it can't find something.dll, sorry, 
If you're getting errors about missing DLLs and whatnot, then what you want to do is you want to open this readme.md file with a text editor. And there should be something here that says build dependencies, and should have a list of various libraries and whatnot. And then, under debug and release, you should have some DLLs corresponding to each of those build dependencies. If you don't have if you don't have DLLs corresponding to all of the build dependencies in both folders, then you want to look you want to look up these libraries on Google or something, and then go to their website and they'll have DLLs for this that you can download. And that should be all there is to it. Finally, if that still doesn't fix the error, one thing you w do want to make sure of: make sure you're building with 32-bit because at least. Because right now, at least, the whole system is only set up to build with 32-bit. You can build 64-bit, you'll just need to change the libraries to be 64-bit and whatnot. But for at least the project as shipped is a 32-bit build. So yeah, though that's how you build on Windows, those are some of the errors you might encounter. And if you encounter something else, well, let me know. So, thank you. Now, if you want to build the project on Mac or Linux, here's how you do that. First thing you want to do is you want to open the README file, because this lists off all the build dependencies. Now, you're going to have to install these yourself. So, there's the list of them, and really there's two ways you can do that. The first way is to, to open up a terminal or something, and if you have a package manager, you can do something like you can use that. So, for instance, Ubuntu Linux has the apt package manager, so I can type sudo apt-git install, and then t just install all the build dependencies. So, lib glue-dev, lib sdl2-dev, and lib asimp-dev. And that is going to install all of, well, all the libraries for you. And you don't have to do anything else. That's probably the easiest way to go about that, if you have a package manager. Now, if you don't have a package manager, what you're going to want to do is you're just gonna, going to want to search these in your preferred search engine and find their websites. Be and on their websites, they're going to provide downloads for all the libraries and includes and whatnot. And then you can set that up just like you set up any other C++ library. And there. So once you have all that set up, you can go in the 3D Engine CPP folder, and there's two ways you can build it. One way is there's a code blocks project, and you can open that. And once you've opened that, you can right click on the properties and select the, or yes, change the build dependencies, set at the include and libs to the includes and libs you downloaded from, well, the build dependencies. And then just hit F9 to build and run, and you should be good to go. Alternatively, you can also build with a makefile, if you prefer that way. And I'm going to do that in this example just because. And similarly with the makefile, you're going to need to include all the extra folders for the li libraries and includes that you download. But yeah. And by the way, all the extra including stuff, that's only if you're downloading them from the website. If you download with a package manager, there's a good chance it did all that for you. Not guaranteed, but there's a pretty good chance it did. And yeah. So once you have all that set up, you can just open up that folder in a terminal and just type make. I'm going to use dash j4 just so it builds a little bit faster for me. And there you go, it should build the project, it should go through everything. And once it's finished, you should have a fully working version of the 3D engine. So the actual executable is in bin and either debug for the debug version or release for the release version, so I'm going to run the release version for now. So just say bin slash release slash 3D game engine. And if I do that, what do you know? It runs. One thing to be important, to just to keep in mind here, when you're running it, the res folder needs to be in the same folder you're running it from. That's not an issue with the code blocks project, but with the make file, it is. That's why I'm doing dat slash bin slash release slash 3D game engine rather than navigating to the release folder and running it from there, because then I need to copy the res folder over. But yeah.
and that's all there is to installing the project. So, thank you, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned, and I'll see you next time.